Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne. This is Daily Ramble. So if you hear my dog, he hasn't been feeling too good, so he's kind of next to me. So if you hear him, I'm sorry about that. So we're doing season two, episode three of Runaways called Double Zeros. So to start off with um, Molly um, stops a pimp from hurting a girl. And this girl says she has the same eyes as him. Whatever that means. And then we cut to breakfast. Oh, and I think she turned the car upside down. <laughs> and so, um, it's breakfast time, but we have to Alex talks to Darius. And then we cut to the, um, the Wilders talk. And, um, they're packing. And, um, like heavily. And then we cut to where Molly is back and gets busted by Nico. And she'll, li she'll lay off for now. And so he's going to... Um, start training, but we have a GERT fail because she doesn't have her medicine, so she's not thinking super clearly. Then we cut to Frank is leading the service at the at the church, and Leslie is pissed about it. <laughs> and then we find out that um, Frank wants Leslie and Carolina back. Then we cut to where Jonah drops in. <laughs> Then we cut to where Alice talks to a girl, and so she plans to leave soon, and she created a pomade that is um, really, really healthy for your scalp. And it might be in store soon, and then they kiss. Then we cut to where Jonah talks to Chase's dad through a, um, so basically he's in his chamber because he um, is being repaired on while well, he's they're making him better <laughs> because of Chase's mom uh, shot him. <laughs> so he's stuck into this like virtual world or whatever and it's not great at first. And then um, then we cut to Alex's boss, um, Darius, has a job for him. And then we cut to Chase wants a game plan with the team. And Gert is getting upset and storms off. And then Jonah calls Janet and wants her help. And she'll help only if she can do it alone. And he's like, <laughs> no. Then Molly and Chase talk. And then we cut to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Then we cut to... Uh, the, the, oh my god. Okay, so, I don't know what I even wrote. My God. So, anyway, um, oh, uh, sorry, Alex is, so, sorry about that little, Alex is both Darius, told Darius to be careful and, um, to be aware and basically betrayed him to his parents. The dad says sorry uh, to Darius and gives him the deed to the construction site and leaves. Uh, the mom wasn't with them. And then we cut to where um, Alex calls Nico um, on the burner phone. And then the guy, so Nico over here, she actually picked up and got a location. So the team is going there. It's like this really fancy airport where they go on the private jet. And then Gert made a Britney reference, shaving your head. I don't know why people keep saying that. It was over 10 years ago. Anyway, and so the car started, thanks to Nico's help. And then Chase's, Chase's parents talk, because um, Jonah finally gave in to talking to him alone. And basically knows how to decrypt the code. Um, you know, he knows how to correct it and tells it to her, and so she puts it in, and turns out it's a galaxy when she got back to her, um, house. Then the Wilders are at the airport, and the team got them, and they managed to escape, and, uh, Nico was able to give a different command because, like, um, it wasn't, it was kind of shortened out a little bit, the staff, but she managed to get it to work right. He can't do the same command twice, you gotta make an alternative, so you gotta really gotta think on your feet about that type of stuff. And so they escape. Then Alex's boss is at a ho at the hotel uh, to meet the girlfriend, and but he, she but he runs into Miss Wilder there and literally offed him. 
So you have all these cops around in the area, and my girlfriend walks in, like, she's super excited, because, like, he called her earlier, and so, like, I'm so excited for this, like, we can start a new life and stuff. And then she came in, and, you know, she's pregnant, and she just, she was absolutely devastated by that. Then we cut to where the teens are cleared, because, um, the Wilders pinned everything on him. Then we cut to where Nico is nicer to Alex and they play a game and start talking about uh, this girl. And then we cut to where Molly goes out again and flips, uh, flips the pimp's car again. But it got busted by her when she returned and got upset. And this guy shows up named Topher. And that's the end of the episode. Crazy episode. I give this an A minus. The... I will say the the shocking stuff in there was actually shocking. It wasn't like predictable or whatever, but I thought it was really interesting that Miss Wilder showed up at the hotel and not the dad, and that all this stuff happened. I was like, damn, that is a, she is a shady lady, man. Um, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. You have these twists and turns, and you get a new character, Topher. I was like, okay. <laughs> But anyway, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And um, the action scenes were great. Um, you know, the fact that, you know, the kids do have the opportunity to go back home, but they still aren't because they know who their parents are and they don't want to deal with that and be around, you know, those type of people. I think that's, you know, that's pretty, um, they're very good on their ethics, I guess. <laughs> Way better than their parents, anyway. But anyway, that's what I do for this video. So, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree. Tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.